Hi everybody, I'm back finally. It's been a while. It takes this um, uh, stuff a long time to dry. And uh, I put two coats on and uh, the sealer. So um, I'm ready to go ahead and finish the, um, uh, the other parts of it now. The decoration on it. The, and uh, what I have decided to put on it is um, this lace. Uh, it's um, made out of burlap. And um, uh, I got it today down at uh, Michael's. And uh, they were having a big sale. So uh, I got some of that down there. And um, it's really pretty. So, uh, I'm going to put that on there, and um, I th I, I, this is really done better than what I was thinking it probably would do, because like I said to begin with, I haven't done this for a long time, but uh, I'm pretty well pleased with the way things are going so far. I can just get all of this. That glue gun, I don't understand it. it uh, you have to push that second glue stick in. It um, doesn't go in when you put it in. And um, I'm trying to uh, keep this pretty level because she's wanting to see a little bit of the burlap under it. So, uh, trying to keep it like that. And yet, keep it level. It's amazing how people forget these things after they stop doing them after a few years. I'm surprised I've remembered as much as I have though because um, I was so involved with other things that I guess it pretty well kept my crafting going a little bit. But not too much. Put one of my cards on my finger. I've got a big place on my thumb right now where I burned it the other day, and then the following day I reburned it. So um, it's uh, pretty sore. Beginning to dry up though. That'll be enough to show the burlap on the sides. Might be able to put that back under a little bit. Oh, that's going to be too much. Okay, I'll just finish it like this. More glue. I've got to try to get some glue sticks that are not so stringy because these things, my, my, I think they're the stringiest glue that I've used.
Oh, I was thinking the other day, I was watching one of my videos when I was, we were uploading it. And I'm all the time putting my hand, after I get a hold of something, trash or something, I put it down here <laughs> under my desk. And I thought, good grief, that looks like I'm throwing that stuff in the floor. It isn't. I have a little trash can down there. It sits just under my desk. and uh, So I know exactly where it is. So I don't have to look. I'm, I can just take my hand and put down there. It's gone, the trash is, into the trash can. So that's what I'm doing when I'm putting my hand under my desk all the time. I'm getting rid of my trash that's in my hand. I uh, sealed this, um, the edges of this uh, lace before I came back on the camera because um, if you don't seal that, it will ravel out on you. And so uh, make sure that you always seal that if you don't know to do that. And uh, when you cut the um, rope that it's the cord that's wound on, um, make sure that you also seal that because um, you can lose a lot of your uh, rope if you don't seal it. This is going back really pretty. It's looking really nice right now. I love decoupage. I think you can really make some pretty things with it. Just a little bit more. We were trying. My daughter was trying to look for some of that undo this evening, and they don't have any. Walmart or any of the places that they went said they had never carried it, and I didn't understand that. most of you guys use it and uh, I know that Angela uses it a lot she did a uh, tutorial on it and uh, I've got glue all over this um, the old thingamajigs uh, but she did she made a tutorial on it and she's been using it for years and um, she gets something that's wrong and she just takes it and uses that undo on it and away it goes. Makes it really nice. Okay now I cut my, uh, I'm going to put little edges here between here with the rope cording and uh, so I've already sealed those with uh, the glue so that they wouldn't come loose. And uh, I think that one could be sealed just a little bit more. I 
I was really surprised, I guess, at how long it took this to dry, but uh, I think that the reason for that was uh, it was burlap, and uh, burlap is really thick, so for that reason, I think that it took it longer to dry than it normally would have. I guess that's the advantage of, or disadvantage, particularly depending on which way you look at it. Having homemade things, they're not perfect, that's for sure. But I love handmade things. I remember one time I was out with my sister, and we were just going around to a lot of the little um, places that uh, they have crafting articles and things. Uh, people make different things and sell them. And um, I always like to buy for Christmas something that you wouldn't ordinarily get. And um, so it's special. So I was, uh, we were looking in this little boutique and I saw this um, jewelry box and it was handmade. It had three tiers to it. And um, uh, the top tier was smaller than the bottom one. So uh, I bought that for my daughter and brought it home and put it away and saved it until Christmas. And uh, she loved it. She still has it. And uh, some artisan had made that. And his works are still being appreciated. I think about this is about the same for the cording. thought that I would take um, some of these burlap flowers. Uh, I, always, I also got these at Michael's. And uh, these were on sale too. They had a big, big sale today. I got a frame that I could not believe for $12 and something. And I think it was a $47 frame. And you can tell it. It was gorgeous and um, it has different layers to it I think it's about three or four different layers to it and uh, it's beautiful we went down to visit uh, my son and his wife a few weeks ago and uh, she had taken one of her walls and um, she did a diagram to begin with of, of, of pictures and the sizes of her pictures and everything. And she um, put those pictures up on, well, uh, my son did that for her, I think. But she showed him where she wanted them. And they fixed those. And um, they really, really looked pretty. These things stick by themselves, so I can go ahead and stick them down. And let me see. If it weren't for the um, drying time, uh, this process would not take very long. It's the drying that 
takes all of your time up. That looks pretty good. I like that. I like to shove that up just a little bit and glue it down. Because it's sticking out a little bit. I use this little, I believe that's a needle for a, a big, um, lace or something but I use it for just about everything cleaning my paint up when I'm doing my shirts and getting little things out of places that they need to be gotten out of and um, it works really well I'm continually using it okay I think that that's just about it, so I'll turn it around and let you have a look at it. And uh, I think that could use a little bit of glue right here. Along through here. Amazing what can be made out of a little bit of um, lace and some material. I so said lace and material. Lace and, yes, other materials. I was right to begin with. But, uh, yeah, I better put this down here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get along the edge of this. Make sure I get it sealed too really well. Because we don't want it starting to come loose after a while. glue even sticks to my um, finger toppers and I've never had glue do that before when I was building my mountain they ne the glue never stuck to them with that type of glue I don't remember what kind it was I was using though I know it was a thicker one because I've gone to a different gun and I have to use a, a, a thinner, smaller glue stick now. My chair just pops and cracks. Can't use my new one because it bothers my leg. I'm hoping that it will get broken in by somebody else and I can go ahead and use it. It's something you really can't tell about is when you're out buying an office chair. You think it's going to sit really well and it did but it just messed my leg up. I have to be careful with my legs. Okay, I think that that's going to do it now. I think it's all glued down. And everything is just fine and dandy with it. And I think I cut a little few things right here. Okay, now, I 
think that's it. Now I'll turn around and see if you can see it. Uh huh. Looks pretty. I like this. I think it's really pretty. And I know she's going to like it. Okay, well, it's late and I'm going to sign off. And uh, probably we'll put another tutorial up tomorrow. And uh, uh, you all uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the uh, work and the subject matter. And um, I'll talk with you all next time that um, I'm crafting. So you come back and we'll craft some more. Bye-bye.